We can talk about Lamar Jackson in just a moment because right now on the phone, live from San Francisco, coming off their 24-21 to victory, we have Trent Williams of the San Francisco 40. What are you doing? How you doing, man? How you doing? I'm doing great now. <laughs> yeah, first of all, how does that locker room feel? Trent Williams joining Fox Sports Radio. Trent, how does that locker room feel after that fourth quarter comeback, 24-21 victory? Uh, just relief, man, relief. Um, you know, it's a token of confidence where you can pull a game out like that. And, uh, you know, when you got to go down there and get a score and don't have great field position, I think that, you know, with the way the game was going all all day, essentially, you know, for us to be able to, to put the ball in the box when it meant the most, I think that that was a huge build of confidence for us. Do you think? Do you look at the? Do you look at it positively and say, "Hey, you know, we didn't bring our A game today. This was not our best performance as a football team, and we beat a pretty good football team, and we're still playing." Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, I've said it before. Green Bay record is not indicative of how good they are, how good they play. Well coached, very well coached team. Um, we got a really challenging scheme to pick up on. Um, you know, so I think. A lot of people may discredit them because it's number seven in front of their seed. But, you know, once you get in this big dance, we're all professionals and we all, we all here for a reason. So, you know, a tough game, it shouldn't surprise anybody. Trent Williams joining Fox Sports Radio live off a San Francisco 24 to 21 victory over the Green Bay Packers. Trent, so much of the conversation about your team is about your quarterback. Uh, but, uh, on a night where he needed to be great down the stretch, multiple first downs on that final drive. He picks up a big chunk with his legs, which sets up the McCaffrey touchdown. What do you guys in the locker room, how do you feel about your quarterback, Brock Purdy? Uh, we, he's, uh, he is uh, one of the sole reasons we're in this position that we are in today. So uh, we we have so much confidence in him. He's such a good quarterback, such a good kid, such a good teammate. Um, you know, I had... I had zero doubt that he would make the plays that we needed to get us down the field. Trent, how does your offense change when Debo goes out? It, it seems like he, he when he goes out, it just changes a lot of what you want to do. Um, how, how much did you have to shift things when he left the game? Uh, you know, that's probably a question better suited for Kyle. <laughs> you know, I just get the call. And, but I do know that we put a lot on Debo's shoulder, and he knows so many different positions and, so many, you know, he, he does so much for us, um, you know, so losing him, you know, he's lightning in a bottle. So losing a guy like that is always going to be tough to overcome, especially when it happens, you know, in in the game. You know, when you got time to game plan for it, you know, we can kind of put people in different situations and make up for it. But, you know, Debo is a huge part of the game plan. So losing him early, you know, it did kind of take some rebooting and try to put some different guys in different put, places to try to you know overcome that trent williams joining fox sports radio aaron torres jason martin trent dumb question do you tomorrow just sit on the couch like the rest of us and watch detroit tampa bay do you guys have a text chain going like how do you consume that game knowing that you're going to play the winner uh next sunday uh me personally yeah i'm I'm, tomorrow i'll be a regular citizen i'll be uh feet kicked up on the couch and i'll be you know, tuned in to both of the games and obviously uh, studying the, the Tampa Bay and Detroit game, but, you know, watching it as a casual football fan, watching Kansas City and Buffalo. So, yeah, I, you know, ain't nothing better than <laughs> being able to just kick your feet up and watch, and watch some high competitive football. Uh, Trent, one, one more from me. I, 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 you've been there for a while, so you were there pre-Christian McCaffrey, and you guys have had talented backs. You've had Elijah, and you've had Jeff Wilson, and you've had, you've had guys through the year. But now that you've got Christian and, and you can see what he is, how special is he? I know what we see on TV, but being up close and personal with him, how special is McCaffrey as a football player? Man, he, he's the best. He's the best in the league, been that way for a long time. He's extremely special, but, you know, for me, it meant a lot for me to, to be able to watch him up close day in and day out. And, you know, I tell you, he's amongst one of the hardest workers on this football team. Uh, the way he approaches work, he don't he don't take a day off, a second off. He's so locked in. And, um, you know, he's, he's just – He's a, he's just a blessing, you know. He's a blessing being able to, to to get him for what we got him for, and, and 
and the difference he's made since the first time he stepped in his locker room, it, it, I mean, it really can't be measured. Um, you know, he's a leading rusher. He's a, he's a, he's a heart and soul of this, of this offense, honestly. He does so much for us. Trent, last one, we'll let you go. Trent Williams joining us. Obviously, last two seasons has not gone to plan. This one is at home. This one, you're fully healthy, relatively speaking, all things considered for this time of year. As healthy as you can be, Brock's ready to go, starting quarterback, etc. What do you guys got to do to finish this thing, get to Vegas, and represent the NFC in the Super Bowl? Well, we obviously got to play better than we did today. Um, you know, but we just got to keep fighting. And obviously, next week will be even harder of a game, no matter who we get, whether it's Detroit or Tampa. It's going to be a, another you know, dog fight. And, um, you know, but what, what more would you want when it, you know, when you're trying to accomplish the, the end all goal, um, you know, it, 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 it's, you're so much more thankful for it when you earn it, you know, and, and we had to go and earn this one. And I'm pretty sure we had to go earn the next one. So, um, you know, the whole goal is to get into that big dance and, you know, we got another opportunity to do it. Trent Williams joining us. Trent, best of luck next week. By the way, best of luck with tickets if you guys end up in Vegas. I feel like everyone's going to be hitting you up for that one. Uh, yeah, for sure. We'll be watching you next week, man. Go enjoy this with the teammates. We so appreciate you making some time. Uh, we appreciate it, and thanks again, Trent Williams. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. That was Trent Williams, and that was awesome.